Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis, guys. I can say weekly analysis uh, because since since Tuesday, guys, since early Tuesday, uh, we had some power failure until yesterday. I think the problem was the transformer and they took time to change that. So every backup that we had, it was gone, guys, for three days. Actually, two to three days. But anyways, we're back. Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. For those who want to join the team, you guys, don't forget that this week is the last, actually, week. Until Sunday, you can only join for $19, which is actually around $360, something like that. So if you don't really want to miss this, then, yeah, you can uh, actually WhatsApp me or contact me, whatever that you... As long as you can actually talk to me then you can be part of the team so what's really happening on the market what's really happening on the market uh, we have to check the news what's really happening uh, i saw that we don't really have uh, uh, like serious uh, economic news uh, this week and yeah i saw the market was moving very nice uh, here and there so today it's friday i see core cpa pce this is also important so later on uh, consumer uh, sentiment i don't know if this one is important but i know core pce it's very 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 important for the whole week i don't think maybe you have anything uh, you had anything serious uh, maybe except powell speaking unemployment claims only that these other ones they were just play play so i don't think maybe they are that aggressive so yeah we back guys we back we back we back so Let's go straight to the analysis. Let's go straight to the analysis, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, on four hours time frame, on four hours time frame, we can easily see that. Or oh, let me just maybe start with the daily time frame. I will just relax, just to go through everything nicely. Uh, there is nothing. Uh, we don't really have to rush, guys. So, yeah, on GBP, GBP, JPY, GBP, British Pound, Japanese Yen, we can easily see that, yes, the market is doing what? The market is actually pushing to the upset. This is a very nice uptrend. This is a very simple, straightforward uptrend. What's really happening is it means we are supposed to look for what? For buy positions. I think the last time I showed you, I think it was Monday or Sunday, something like that. So we can easily see that the market did touch this support area. And now it's trying to do what? It's trying to push the upset. So the best thing is to, let's try to go maybe on four hours time frame. Already we can see the structure. Well, let me just do it like this. It seems like something like that. You see that? So let's go on a smaller time frame. Uh, not smaller. But uh, not bigger than, not, not bigger like uh, a daily time frame. So when we go closer here, you can see that, yes, indeed, the market was pushing to the upside. But just because the market was just flying, you can see the market was just pushing to the upside. So the market has to reverse. And when the market reverses, uh, found that support area there. So let's go on that support and see what's really happening. Yeah, so here what I see is the market did touch our our downtrend, our support area. Let's see, we can draw this. We can see that on top here, you can also see that we had a structure, guys. We had a sort of a support, but also here it's like something like that. But since the market was actually selling, uh, I don't really think this is going to be anything actually that we can check. Let me try, let me try maybe... That will make sense. Okay. Yeah, I think it makes sense. It makes sense, but the thing is, we also have this horizontal structure. Let me just mark that properly. We have this area. Do you see that? So what we can do is, even if we have a diagonal structure, but it's much, much better to wait for this area to be broken out before we look for a buy or you can still maybe jump on a buy here but you should obviously know that there is an area that we can call a resistant but the bigger picture is we are actually on an uptrend so which means there is enough chance for the market to, uh, to break that but it's much better to wait for a breakout before we will jump on that buy i hope you understand i hope you understand that guys i hope you understand but you know what guys uh 
just for appreciation i saw so many people said kenzo uh send the signals what's really happening you know what let's the uh, let's just keep it that special guys you you guys without you guys uh, my youtube channel it's nothing so let's push we can say no let's push it maybe until what monday or let's add extra week i'm talking about our special our 20 dollar special so this is for everyone this is for you guys let's just eat together be part of the team so i'm no longer i was thinking about stopping it this sunday but there are so many people who actually want to join but i think it's fine you can just talk to me and let me know if maybe if the special is still available or not so now now we are actually on dxy if you still remember the last time we met actually the last time i did the video i did a uh, point out on uh, this uh, index dollar index that you see we have an area and if the market breaks that area it means things are going to go south especially for gold us 30 and nasdaq and other pairs and the market indeed broke out of that so let's go a little bit closer you can see that we had indeed had a structure that the market was respecting which we call it a resistance structure then the market broke out because dollar index is very strong you see that dollar strength is very very strong guys so let's see let's see what's really happening the market broke out it seems like maybe the market is coming back again for maybe a retest we don't know maybe the market will retest there before maybe pushing up again but let's go closer even closer on four hours time frame and just to see what's really happening so here you can see that yes 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 the market did aggressively push the upside this actually shows the strength the dollar is getting stronger and stronger but now i can see that the market is now trying to push a little bit lower and yeah which is good maybe the market will even push lower but we have a support firstly we have this resistant we have this resistant then we can say if maybe it respects here we can expect the likes of gold to continue selling or maybe the market will actually reach the support area before pushing up or maybe anything can happen then the market might break out and if that happens it means we're gonna look for a downtrend here which means the other pairs maybe they will start to push the upside not every time sometimes you might find that a dollar index is pushing up and also the nasdaq and the other ones they're also pushing up because there's so many factors that affect uh, those uh, markets or moves you have to understand that right so uh, let's push to the next one which is actually yeah you can see when that dollar is going down uh, other pairs now they breathe let's go back you will see let's go back you will see remember we are not actually in a hurry so you can see that now it's pushing lower and on the other side dollar it's also losing the strength you see that so that's fine so if you still remember and uh, now actually if you still remember last week we were talking about this downtrend we are now on gbp usd i'm not going to go back on that uptrend guys i'm just going to go where we are now we are actually on a downtrend if you still remember i don't know if i sent this signal in the group i think i did send this signal in the group and guess what the market did actually even touch the take profit even went lower unfortunately around these days hours are not available so but it seems like the market wants to do what the market wants to push the upside remember our upside is going to be uh, this resistant the area that we want the market to touch is this uh, actually resistant maybe the market will touch there and start to push lower maybe the market will touch here and start to continue with the downtrend remember we are actually on a downtrend movement we are actually on a downtrend movement so i'm also expecting the market to do what to continue selling but even though we expect the market to continue selling we have to expect some reversals along the way and i can see that okay we have a reversal but what we have let me remove that they all they already ate there so let's let's remove this also our chart is supposed to be clean guys our chart is supposed to be clean so this doesn't really matter anymore but we have to mark you see this area it's now a potential support uh so the market might come back around that area we have to wait and see 
maybe when the market comes back you see the market might also come back around that area yes it's possible that the market can still break that and push the upside but for now we are still on this down trend so which means we are just expecting to do what to sell only so let's push to the next one which is euro usd quite similar if you still remember we were on a on this downtrend if you still remember i did talk about these structures and guess what as you see the dollar is getting uh, weaker uh you can see that they are now even other pairs now they can breathe but you can see this aggressive sell here did you see dxy it was also pushing up but this side is pushing lower but the structure it's quite straightforward i don't think maybe there is much 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 that i can explain here you can easily see we also had a support after the breakout we had this nice sell touched our profit now the market is also pushing lower unfortunately i did not even eat uh, all of this because i was actually offline so what's really happening is yes we can easily see that the market is now trying to push the upside don't try to buy this thing is on a downtrend wait for the market maybe it will reach this area or maybe the market will create something just wait because we are supposed to do what to look for sales we are supposed to look for sell positions and we know that 90% of the time the market will be going in this direction, which is a downtrend, you see. So now we're just waiting for the market to reverse. Then we go on and take another sell somewhere, somewhere. We don't know where, maybe around that area. We don't know. It, it, there is a possibility for the market to touch that and start to push even lower, right? So let's push to the next one, uh, which is gold. You can see gold is also trying to recover a little bit, but gold, it was badly hurt, guys. Gold, it was like punched in the face the time uh, the dollar is getting stronger. But you can see we had a very nice downtrend. I don't know. I, I don't think I did send any sell signal, but the structure was there. If we check my analysis, i did talk about this downtrend i drawn this since last week i think since friday or sunday so you can easily see that the market is actually on a downtrend so even though the market tries to push the upset we still know that the market is still on on a downtrend but the thing is the market now it's oversold there is a room for the market to do what to recover uh, to recover a little bit recover a little bit recovery around the, the, the corner before pushing a lower again but it's safer to sell than to buy it's way too safe to, to to sell because we are actually on a downtrend or the market will create another structure that we can use once that is broken we can also jump on that sell i like the structure that i have here because i saw this before even break out so that was actually very good you can go on my previous analysis so let's push to the next one which is going to be us 30 uh, us that is also trying to push to the upside guys so what's really happening you can see that we we were on a very nice uptrend uh, let's go here and see we were on a very on a very 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 nice uptrend guys you can see that the trend was pushing to the upside which is uptrend obviously then we have a nice breakout you can see that breakout is also aggressive we don't really have proper uh proper retest and stuff like that so which means reversals are going to happen we might have any reversal just to create a proper structure you can see that yes we actually on a sell but our structures are not really proper the structure is not really proper so let's go there and see so we don't really have to guess by the way that's why we need to have proper structures so what i see here is yeah we can see where the market broke out uh, we can say okay that it's clear so now i see another area seems to be i can say it's a resistant or it's a support yeah i can say something like that but besides that we don't really have enough stuff we don't really have enough information to say uh, let's buy or let's sell I, what i know is we are actually on a downtrend so it means the market just it's going to continue like that so it means we just have to wait and see if the market is going to respect these areas we can also go maybe on a smaller time frame because that can make our job very clear to see what's really happening because i don't think let's try let's try i don't think maybe a diagonal 
resistance is gonna be valid this time but i think that that can work i guess yeah i think this can work for now but what i know is the market is gonna give us some structures so it's still very early because we had this week but we did not actually have enough economic news but there are some stuff going on guys i will show you actually there are like there is a possibility of shutdown government shutdown whatever in the us so that is crazy around first of october and stuff like that you see so what i see is yeah it seems like it makes sense that uh, this area can be uh, an area that maybe the market will respect but we will see we will see if maybe it respect that we will expect the market to continue selling even or pushing even lower you see but yes there is a room for the market to break out and some anything can happen anything can happen so let's see let's see let's see because you saw that dxy is pushing towards the support which means if it bounces back we might see also the likes of us 30 now continuing selling so now we are actually on nasdaq nasdaq my favorite my favorite uh what's really happening on nasdaq uh we can easily see uh on a daily time frame the market was it was pushing very nice to the upside very 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 nice so what's really happening uh, you can see that after this uptrend we see now we have a breakout but it seems like the market is pushing to the upside but it's still below our support so we have to uh, think twice about anything if maybe you were thinking about buying you have to think twice so now we are actually on four hours time frame you can easily see where the market broke out the market broke out around these areas mm, yeah so on this area here it seems like to be a very nice downtrend i can delete that but on the bottom side it makes sense so i don't know if maybe we're going to use a horizontal but it makes a very nice structure which shows that it's a breakout sort of a retail something like that so we have to be careful uh, on this so what i can do is since we are actually on a downtrend anything that happens there or here it might actually try to confuse us so we have to actually it's better for us to wait for the market to open because the market might come back and respect this area you can see we have this support i mean this resistant area or this one here you can see that but also i also saw something like that which also makes sense but i don't know if i'm forcing that but i think that makes sense so the, so the best way is to let's wait and let's wait for this structure to mature because it's still very early after this breakout remember the trends can actually last longer trends can last longer so this week also i think the market might also actually go crazy uh let me just search let me just search some updates i don't know if this thing's gonna come here or okay uh i wanted to show you something but <clears throat> what we have is it's <clears throat> i think maybe i will update you maybe tomorrow i mean on sunday because i think there's so much stuff going on in the market that we need to check together and it seems like in politics actually the shutdown can also affect the way the market moves and that can make the dollar very very stronger and we have to look into that that we have to look into that so i will just explain that maybe on our weekly analysis so don't forget to join the team guys the special the special it's supposed to end this weekend it's supposed to end this weekend let me know if you want to be part of the team if you are, are in south africa so which means this price is going to be uh, around 360 around 360 rand so and it's lifetime so anyways thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo thank you for waiting thank you for waiting bye